going to explain a sumo squat. So this is just another alternative to the back squat and the front squat. Okay, so you're just basically putting your feet wider, uh, which is going to give you a little bit more stability, a little bit more balance. You see more of this squat in a powerlifting world um, rather than a bodybuilding type world. Uh, but we're going to show it to you guys anyways. So I'm going to rack the bar like I normally would a back squat. But I'm going to put my feet um, nice and wide. Okay, so again, it's a personal choice how wide you go. You want to step out to probably just about shoulder width, maybe slightly wider. You're going to turn your toes out. The main focus here is you want to keep your knee track um, in line with your toes. You never want to let your knees cave in because that's just going to be um, really stressful on your knees and your hips. Okay, so chest up, you're going to send your butt back. Um, drive your knees out over your toes, go nice and low. Goal is to get about 90 degrees here and then send your hips back up. So for a sumo squat, you don't have to go below 90 for a um, squat. You just want to go to 90. Drive those knees out, 